Imagine an amazing machine that takes information in and produces coherent answers. But we have no idea how the black box works. We can control what goes in and we can see what comes out, but the why and how remain a mystery. The instinct is to try and open it, which is vital but difficult. Now, imagine how difficult a sentient AI black box would be. Maybe a glass box could help align the output. That's a great idea, but how would you even make a glass box? Well, the method I've discovered is easy to use, adapts to your requirements, and works on various large language models. Additionally, at least according to the AI, a category theorist would call this a universal polymorphic interaction monad, uh, which appears to be something new. What this means for the rest of us is that we can use AI more like a sort of smart checklist guided by the glass box of our choice. In computer science terms, it's more like a polymorphic self-healing interactive collaboration algorithm. I'm using a Gemini gem here, but it does seem to work okay even on 24B models you can run at home, though the context is fairly large. Now, of course, you need to start somewhere, so let's start with start. And that will bring us to the opening menu, which is basically your choice. So the first thing you need to do is pick what type of framework you want it to be. Now the default one there, of course, is Gerald's Mystical Cheese Adventure, and you can add or modify elements. You can totally change the framework type. For example, you know, if you want it as Western philosophical analysis, it can be one of those, or a creative world building engine, or any type of collaborative exercise you're looking for. Uh, the collaboration here is also between you and the AI. Just so long as the LLM can handle it, it will do all the code changes for you. Should be self-healing if you try to ask for something contradictory, and it should get to the end of your story. That is, if you want it to end. You can just type the letters A, B, C, D, E, and it will do it, or you can use whatever sort of text you want. So here, I'm saying I'd like a space game about an evil cat called Cuddles, please. And as you can see, it has reconfigured the game, and I can pick all sorts of various other options. As cats are evil, let's go back to the default Gerald adventure instead, and I'll go with option A and continue through. So here we can see we're basically starting with the default game here. Prepare yourself for an interactive narrative where your decisions will guide Gerald, the mystical rodent, through an ancient fantasy realm in pursuit of the legendary cheese of eternal whispers. And as you can see, you get loads of different options there. And you've got a one, two, three, four. So if you want to go through the story and say, oh, do I be bold, ritualistic? Do I seek guidance? Yes, I think Gerald needs to seek guidance at this point. And of course, it will carry on through the story. Now, the other thing is you don't have to pick any of the predefined paths there because everything is in your control. So for example here, Gerald suddenly realizes he left the oven on at home. Disaster. A jolt of primal panic surges through Gerald, completely overriding the mystical hum of the whispering woods. The shimmering paths, the arcing currents, the watchful sensation all fade into the background. His tiny rodent brain fixates on one terrifying image his cosy burrow filled with a delicious aroma of roasting cheese burning to a crisp. So as you can see, you can play the game any way you want. You can stop whenever you want. Uh, there is a sort of predefined ending, uh, but you can choose to carry on and change the adventure based on the ending as well. But of course, the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. So give it a go yourself. It will be very interesting to see what sort of things we can make together. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.